Beach Boys, Lady Linda, my thanks to producer Tom DeCrow and Phil the Collector Square. This has been a seven digital production for Radio 2. We've got Sunday Night is Music Night coming up uh, at 8 o'clock. Uh, Radio 2 unwinds with Angela Griffin at 10. And I'm going to be back with you with the sound of the 60s on uh, Saturday, of course, at 6 o'clock. And another golden hour will be coming away uh, next Sunday as well. And I'll see you in Ellsbury later on. From me, Tony Blackburn, thank you so much for listening. This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, and on 88 to 91 FM. Bye bye. BBC News at 8 o'clock. This is Adam Porter. The AA says long waits at approaches to the Euro Tunnel at Folkestone have now fallen considerably after hauliers and holidaymakers travelling to France experienced severe disruption since Friday. Delays at the port of Dover, which also saw delays and gridlock, eased this morning. The AA says the chaotic scenes could be repeated every weekend throughout the school holidays. A former police border control officer, Chris Hobbs, says the UK can't make French passport control work faster. The French have got us over a bit of a barrel because we need the Le Touquet agreement, which enables us to have our immigration controls in France. And of course, their immigration controls, which is part of the problem, are based near our channel ports. So it is hard to say what's happening, but what we really need is a better measure of cooperation between the two governments. A woman has been killed and three other people have been taken to hospital after a caravan caught fire near Saxmundham in Suffolk this morning. Firefighters in Surrey are trying to extinguish a large fire that's engulfed at least eight hectares of land at Hankley Common Nature Reserve. London's fire service says it's tackling multiple weather-related fires across the city and has advised people to cancel any planned barbecues. Police in Northern Ireland say a number of roads in the Londonderry and Straban areas have been flooded and are impassable after heavy rain. Five people have been evacuated from their homes and one was rescued from a vehicle in flood waters. Both candidates to replace Boris Johnson as Prime Minister have pledged to crack down on immigration. The Foreign Secretary Liz Truss has promised to expand the border force, while the former Chancellor Rishi Sunak says he would narrow the definition of who qualifies for asylum. Critics say the UK would need to leave the European Convention on Human Rights if it did so. Mr Sunak says no option should be off the table. So what I'm proposing is something that's very similar to what they do in Australia, for example, and we are a country that I'm proud has always had a long long tradition of welcoming migrants from around the world like my family but it's important that that migration is done legally that the people who are coming here are the ones that we are accepting here that they're going through proper laws and processes the board of cricket scotland has resigned with immediate effect ahead of the release of an independent review of racism in the sport the report to be published tomorrow is expected to find institutional racism in the scottish game a lawyer ama anwar is representing two players who made allegations of racism complete vindication of my clients kasim sheikh majid huck who had their careers stripped from them, who saw their dreams shattered and many others who followed in their footsteps. This organisation stands accused of institutional racism from top to bottom. The Cricket Board of Scotland could do nothing else other than resign. And the weather, there'll be showers overnight in many areas, especially Northern Ireland and Scotland. BBC News, it's three minutes past eight. Just take a moment to stop, take a breath and give yourself a break. How often do you let yourself truly relax? Yeah, okay, we're all busy, but making time for you. Now that is important. I'm Angela Griffin, and let me bring you some seriously chilled out tunes with your new weekly wind down from Radio 2. Radio 2 unwinds with Angela Griffin. Run yourself a bath or just curl up with us tonight from 10 or listen now on BBC Sounds. Hello and welcome to Sunday Night is Music Night with me, Elaine Page. And I have in store for you a visit to the BBC Proms at the Royal Albert Hall for a very special performance by the magnificent Cynthia Erivo. With Tony, Grammy and Emmy Awards to her name, Cynthia's career has so far taken her from the West End to Broadway, from the theatre to feature films and from the stage to the recording studio. 
She released her debut album last year, and on the big screen later this year, we'll see her play the Blue Fairy in Disney's live-action remake of Pinocchio, alongside Tom Hanks and Luke Evans. She'll also be starring as Elphaba in the upcoming film adaptations of the musical Wicked, opposite Ariana Grande as Glinda. But tonight, in her BBC Proms debut, we'll be hearing Cynthia Erivo in a celebration of legendary singers such as Nina Simone, Shirley Bassey and Gladys Knight. She's joined by the BBC Concert Orchestra and conductor Edwin Outwater. And they begin with Don't Rain on My Parade. <laughs> 